Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. And uh, This is Martina and I am so excited to welcome you back to my very messy desk and to do some crafting together. So um, I have taken a little bit of a break from crafting, from working, from creating um, and I shared the reasons with you guys in my uh, latest video and um, I am just so blown away by you guys, your your support, your amazing comments. I have started replying to them um, and uh, I'm going to go back to uh, get back to each and every one of you and thank you personally because I am just um, I am blown away by your support and I am so grateful for you. But basically, um, I have been creating a little bit lately. I just have been a little bit intimidated to film yet, but today I feel it's the day <laughs> to start filming. So I want to go back to this project that we started in March and this is the boho spring journals that uh, we started making together and I want to make some ephemera, some fun elements to put inside our journals and before that I just want to kind of show you guys what we have already and what I did um, off camera when I was taking my break and wasn't filming but basically here are the two covers this is just an example uh, because you guys have seen all of them there are four uh, journals in this collection so uh, this is just an example so there are beautiful uh, appliques and vintage sari fabrics and flowers and everything lovely and lace and my gold leaf trim <laughs> so and this is how they look uh, inside and then uh, each journal will have three signatures so for the signatures I used uh, for two journals I used my dancing daffodils uh, digital papers from my Etsy shop and uh, for the other two I used my spring garden digital kit and I just want to kind of flip through those uh, to show you guys uh, some of the things that we did and also some of the things that I did um, off camera so I just I want those journals to be super fun and happy and interactive so I have uh, I'm going to have a lot of these like um, hinged things uh, envelopes and and stuff with um, jump rings and uh, there will be a lot of fabric so this is a junk mail envelope that i altered and then what else do we have here which you guys haven't seen oh this i think you have seen so this is like a double pocket there is a window here and back there and we made similar pockets together in one of the videos and I will have the whole playlist for making these journals uh, below in the description box. Here are two pockets, both of them are from my spring garden kit and I just added some fabrics on them. Uh, here is the metal of the signature from the dancing daffodils and here is something that I made off camera. So I made a set of four envelopes. Uh, they are like they have a faux window with fabric inside the window so this is this one and they actually close here so each one of them has a card from my spring garden kit and this is what they look like uh, they have different colors and different fabrics uh, here and here and different flowers but basically the idea is the same so there is a torn window with some fabric and a closure like this and it also can be used as a tack spot so i had just have it paper clipped here because i like how it looked uh here kind of on this page and then what else do i have oh this is just a piece of fabric dyed paper so i used some green fabric dye to dye a few sheets of copy paper and i added it here for some additional journaling space uh, here is just a scrappy notebook tearaway thing that I uh, stitched directly to the page so it's 
you can either use them to uh, jot little notes down or you can tear those elements um, from this page and use them in collaging so there is uh, a cute doily there is some um, tracing paper some um, of my digital papers some beautiful text from tailor-made journals and some um, what is this scrapbooking paper and then some uh, tea stained paper as well oh so here is another one uh, of those elements that I'm going to hinge uh, or that I did hinge with uh, with those jump rings I hope you can see well enough maybe I will just zoom you guys in a little bit Okay, so uh, this is an altered CD case actually and it has a window here and um, so this is a pocket. The uh, paper here is from my spring garden. I have some fabric and it flips like this. This is a background page from spring garden. Perfect to like add a little note or maybe uh, add a photo here and then I used a piece of fabric to reinforce this book page so that it wouldn't tear. Um, easily. So this was the, uh, the uh, I think this is too close, this was the uh, first signature and in the second signature I think I only added, oh yeah, so I have those tiny envelopes that I really like making and um, I've added some fabric on them as well. And what else do we have here? Oh, these pockets we made together in one of the videos. So this is again like a double pocket. There's a window here and it's also open on the back. And I think that's all from what we did. And the rest of the thing I, I did a lot, I think. I mean a lot in comparison to uh, me not doing anything for uh, for a few weeks but I have a stack of things that I did and um, I made like three things from each little stack so that the fourth one because I'm going to have four journals we can make together. So this is just a quick look at how this signature looks. Uh, it's rather empty, uh, just beautiful papers, but we will decorate it as well. Okay, and so what I thought we could do today, let me just put this aside. Um, I did a like a stack of tuck spots and pockets. Um, I have a lot of scraps lying around, um, scraps of scrapbooking paper that I used for the base of those pockets and tuck spots and then uh, scraps of just various different papers and um, each of those pockets also has a little piece of fabric and some pearls, some faux pearls or or um, enamel dots and some flowers of course. So I have three uh, bigger tag spots like this. Then I have three uh, of those longer ones. I like how uh, muted they are because I think they will uh, look nice on any page really. And all of them have torn and uh, gilded edges. So this is what these look like. And then I have those corner tag spots. So the, they are not torn on this side and I'm going to glue them to the corners of uh, the pages and they look like this. So I thought, uh, why don't we make a little set? Um, I won't lie to you guys. I am a, a little bit, um, like I said, intimidated or just anxious about this video um, so I decided to choose a very simple project for myself uh, to just kind of warm up but like I said I've already prepared more things um, for us to to work on so the videos that will be coming um, are going to to be I think more exciting but yeah i don't know i just love making simple things like this and how gorgeous they look <laughs> okay so let me prepare a few things okay so i have three scraps of um scrapbooking paper of cardstock 
to kind of serve as my base. So I have one bigger one, then one smaller one, and one kind of a long one. And I didn't measure them, uh, what I would just make sure is that they would fit on my uh, pages. And you know, you, could, uh, you can comfortably take things out of them and put things in. And I also have some very scraps, so just some book pages, some printable scraps, I have some Edith Holden book page, some scraps of my kids. Um, I also pulled out those two pages of text um, from Lorna <coughs> Taylor made journals. And yeah, so let's start decorating our, uh, our pockets, our tax spots. So what I know is I want each one of them to have some kind of fabric but first I'm going to focus I think on the paper aspect so let me take this um, Edith Holden page and my tearing ruler and I'm going to tear a few pieces out of this that I might like to to use for my collages so how are you guys today i hope you are doing great it's saturday when i'm filming this i'm not sure when i'm going to be um to be uh, publishing this video but i hope today <laughs> so that i'm filming this on on Saturday and hopefully you will see it on Saturday as well. So do you have any weekend plans perhaps or um, how is the weather where you are? We've had a terrible weather um, for the longest time here in Poland. It was uh, very gloomy and very cold, but it's still quite cold, but it's sunny today, so maybe uh, we will get to go for a walk or for... We actually got bicycles, me and my boyfriend, like two days ago or three days ago, and we've been just loving riding... Uh, riding? Is it? Is it a correct word to use for a bike we've been riding or uh, or cycling around <laughs> and just trying to build our stamina back after we've been sick so okay and I'm not too bothered about covering the um, the scrapbooking paper too much First of all, because I kind of like it picking through, but also uh, I am going to be adding some fabric and then some flowers, <clears throat> some fussy cut flowers, so it will all... Um, like, more of the background will be covered than, than what we see now. So first I am going to ink around my scraps here. just to add a little bit more definition to those edges. So yeah, so we are uh, slowly but surely recovering from our illness and uh, we are, uh, like I said, building our stamina back. We're enjoying being outdoors after being in quarantine for ages, for what felt like ages really. Uh, and yeah, and tomorrow, I think, yeah, tomorrow, so or Sunday, uh, we are due for a few days of a really summery weather. So I'm very excited. Maybe we'll do some cycling and some rollerblading. I'm just really enjoying being outdoors these days because... I've just had it with sitting at home, you know, unless it's sitting at my desk um, crafting, which I'm very, very happy to report that I have been getting a little bit 
of my inspiration and creativity back i feel uh, which is amazing because uh, if you've watched my previous video uh, then you may know that i've been struggling with it and i just um, couldn't do anything creative for a while but yes i feel like i'm getting getting it back so that's very exciting Oh, and I've been reading quite a lot, so if there is one good thing that came out of this whole situation is it rekindled my love for physical books because I've always been uh, reading a lot ever since I could read, basically. But um, because I was moving around so much in the past 10 years, I think I've changed apartment, apartments like seven times or so, um, I couldn't have, I couldn't own a physical box. And it's always been my dream, to be honest, to have like a library, mini library of my own with uh, just beautiful uh, books that I love, that I love to go back to. I'm one of these per uh, people who actually like rereading books. Not all, but, but some I really like going back to for the second and third time sometimes. So uh, these uh, past weeks when I was sitting at home and couldn't do much else, I actually got so hooked on watching booktube which is um just people on youtube talking about the books reviewing books talking about what they read last month and stuff like that and their favorite books and so i got so like into this i i just could not stop um watching it and i'm still hooked so i actually got myself some physical beautiful books um, for the first time in years in literally in I don't know maybe 10 years maybe not 10 but a long time and uh, it helped too you know just I don't know it helped me reading helped me not escape but it helped me feel something and experience something when I was just so confined here in my in my apartment and I couldn't leave it really helped me live <laughs> hope that makes sense but yeah so so I'm grateful for that and now well this is not the apartment that we live in okay so i'm just going to look for some pieces of fabric that i think might look nice might look nice here uh, but i'm not gluing them yet um so yes so this apartment that we live in uh i live with my boyfriend in it's not it's definitely not our um what's the word well it's not our last apartment it's not where we plan to spend our future but um but it's kind of i think for the first time in years i just feel kind of more uh less temporary oh that's that's the way i'm going to put it it feels less temporary than all of my previous previous apartments so that's really it's really nice. Do I have anything else here? Oh, I have this. This is gorgeous. So maybe I could use a little bit of that. I'm not sure about this. This is very pretty. But for some reason, I'm just not sure about it. So I'm going to purchase myself some books. And I, in moments like this, I really wish I lived in a english-speaking country where i could just go to a bookstore and uh, get some uh, and i would be able to browse through uh, books in english which i'm obviously not not able to do this is stunning um but well i, I can get them online so that's good i can still because 
uh, I can read English, you know, so it would just be, I don't know, I just feel that since I can read English, why would I read a Polish translation, you know what I mean? Uh, I want to read the, the words that the author uh, puts on the page. Okay, you guys, so I think I like what we have here. Uh, but before I glue them, I glue those pieces down and I'm going to be attaching them with my hot glue gun. I'm just going to go around here, uh, around the edges, and I'm going to tear them. Uh, because it's easier to do now before I have too much on uh, on here in terms of like fabric and collage and whatnot. This is a good moment to tear your pages, to tear your edges and gild them or ink them if you're doing it. If not, then absolutely feel free to to skip this step. I think my boyfriend woke up. <laughs> what time is it? It's 10.45. <laughs> um, so I woke up uh, before 6 today, which is very early for me. I like uh, getting up early, but I'm usually not... Like, it's not effortless for me, but for these past few days, I've been waking uh, much earlier for some reason. And it's been okay, I don't know, it's when I wake up at um, in the morning like 6 a.m. and um, 7 a.m. it's just the day is just so much longer and I can do much more even if I'm not doing much, even if what I'm doing is just sitting in my couch or in my garden and reading, you know. It's still... Okay, here I'm going to tear that just these two edges. So yeah, so I woke up at 6 and I made myself coffee and I was reading, which was very nice. And then I felt like this nudge, something was nudging me to come here to my room, to my desk and film a video, which, you know, I didn't resist. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to use my gilding wax. This is gold pasta from uh, Renaissance, which I believe is a Polish uh, brand, but you can use any gilding wax, any gilding paste uh, that you prefer. And I'm just using my finger as per usual to go around the edges because I like the the messy look that it gives me. So there is this one book. Uh, I don't know if anyone is interested. Tell me, do you read a lot, you guys? Do you like reading books? Um, I would love to know. But there was this one book that kind of did it for me, you know, that kind of was the one that helped me the most through all of this. And this was such an amazing and happy and wholesome story. And it's called The House in a Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. And I don't know, it's just, it was just so touching and so happy and so hopeful and so whimsical and magical. I could really recommend it. I cried, I laughed, um, and it's, it was just absolutely, absolutely amazing. And um, if you're in a mood for something wholesome and something, uh, just something happy and something really touching, this book discusses some important matters but it does it in a way that leaves you hopeful and okay i'm going to plug my um hot glue gun first okay so yes yeah, so if you're looking for some wholesome read as i believe a lot of us could use uh after the year we've had the year and a half almost 
Uh, I would definitely recommend The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. Absolutely like the sweetest, the most magical read <laughs> I've had in a long time. Okay, so while my hot glue is heating, let me see what flowers I could I could use here. So for this um, tall one, I think I would just go with one of these wild flowers that I die cut from just some craft cardstock. So you can see my box, I think. This is my little box of fussy cut flowers and also of some die cuts. Oh, I could maybe use it like this. I think I like it. And then for for these. I like this flower here. I think I'm going to go with this. And then what else? What else could I use? Oh, how about this? It's a little bit too big, so I would lose this part, but I like it. I think I'm going to go with it. Okay, let me take a sip of coffee. Uh, where's my coffee? Here. <laughs> I'm, I'm on my uh, second cup of coffee, though this one is decaf, but I don't know, I just felt like it. I just felt like drinking my coffee and while chatting with you guys, it feels like meeting at a cafe with a friend better even because we can craft um, instead of just sitting and drinking our coffee but yeah just a coffee kind of day for me so I am just gluing my fabrics with the hot glue I find it's the quickest and the best way to glue pieces of fabric, uh, especially those that I wouldn't be able to stitch with my sewing machine um, because there are so many like beads and sequins and everything that I would most probably break my needle over. So I am using hot glue to, to stick those pieces of fabric. And also it doesn't show through not not a lot at least so it's quite okay uh -huh. and then this one we have two pieces here okay I'm very excited about these journals <clears throat> I, when I was uh, like unable to craft for a little while, I was worrying uh, because these are spring journals, you know, and I was worrying, oh my goodness, will I be, ab be able to finish them in spring? Um, but yeah, I believe I will. I felt, I felt really inspired to work on them. I love how they are turning out and they are something different uh, for me as well because of the oops of the soft covers and of this boho vibe which I really love <laughs> really really love okay can unplug this and we can go ahead and glue our flowers and then we will see what else we can add here so I think this is going to be like a quite a quick little process video but i think that's okay i think it's it's just a warm-up <laughs> and i already have two other projects that i want to film so there will be more coming definitely okay so there is this one now this one Right. 
team. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> our two plans. Uh, these are from die cuts, uh, from dies uh, from Tim Holtz. And like I said, I think in some of my previous process videos, I really love using those dies with um, with just craft cardstock because then, first of all, I love the look of those wildflowers, and secondly, um, they work really nice with any background really and they can blend into background if you want to make them part of your collaging background or they can um, just enhance your focal points or really be a focal point like we have here i think i'm going to um, no, I think I need to remove this one and move it and move it uh, higher up. Okay. Yeah. Somewhere here. Oops. And this this one. Well, my fingers are now all covered with glue, but that's fine. So, so I think Derek is, is up, uh, so after this video I'm going to go check, check on him and I think maybe we will go for like a little bike ride today because the weather is really... Oh, okay, maybe it's not that awesome. Uh, I just looked outside the window and the sun is uh, currently covered by really dark clouds, but it's very, um, not rainy, but windy. It's very windy today, so I have a hope that, you know, the wind will just blow those cl clouds away. Okay, and so I also have a few sheets of those faux pearls, faux enamel dots uh, that I would like to use to decorate those pockets a little bit more. And I also have some, I should have some, yeah, some confetti stars and um, hearts and also some just shapes that I cut from gold glitter paper. So I'm going to use those as well. And yes, let me just attach a few of those here and there maybe here and then here we could add this glitter gold glitter star and i will show you guys these pockets uh, in detail when we are done with them because i'm not sure with my messy desk how well you can see <laughs> all the details that we have going on here okay so is that and then we have those two so oh, I could use those purple ones and maybe a blue one okay I like it just a tiny bit of something you know a different texture a different uh, material I really like it. And for here, how about I use maybe some of this, just not the big ones. So I could, oops, the glue uh, was left on the, on the sheet here. So how about this? And the second one, maybe the big one actually. And then I would also like some something gold here. So let me just add a dot of glue and maybe add a gold heart up there. 
And here it is. Okay, do I want, there's the big question, do I want gold splashes? Let me see if I added gold splashes on here. I did not. So maybe I will just leave it the way it is. Okay, you guys, so we are actually done. I am impressed at how uh, how quickly I got those three pockets done. And I also really like how they look. So let me show them to you up close so we can see all the details, all the textures. And thank you so much for crafting with me today. I am wishing you a wonderful weekend. Uh, I'm definitely going to be filming more videos soon. Like I said, I already have the projects ready. So uh, with this kind of warm up, shorter video, um, I'm sure I'm going to just get back to it. But also thank you again from the bottom of my heart for your patience, for your understanding, for your words of support and encouragement. Your comments under my last video, uh, honestly, each single comment made me cry. And so I didn't reply to you right away because I just wanted a little bit more time to be in a right headspace to to reply to each and every comment um, but I am right now uh, replying to a few comments a day and just feeling my heart filled with gratitude again and with just joy and yeah, thank you so much, guys. So uh, I will speak to you very, very soon in my next video. Bye!